Hello, welcome to the tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I will talk about the file system or the I/O input output of the root here. Because generally, uh, you will have a root file and you do the analysis of your data. So, um, for me as a beginner, I would talk about mostly the protocol uh, aspect of how to use the root file here. So in this tutorial, uh, my operating system is Ubuntu 14.04 and the version of root is 5.34 here. And let's start it. So uh, typically, you might have a lot of a root file given, like uh, in my directory, I can show you like this. So you have a, a some root file, and there's sto data storing it. So the next question is how to open it and how to uh, organize it and to analyze it. A uh, root file is kind of a container. It contains uh, uh, many kind of different data type. Like it can contain the histogram data type or the root, uh, the tree data type here. Um, I would talk about the tree uh, later, but uh, here I will just focus on the uh, file, the T file class. So uh, let's start a root here. I think you uh, from the previous tutorial, you know how to install and open the, the root uh, the prompt or interpreter here. The root interpreter just like uh, a little bit like Python. It can make a C++ like a script and you can type it and the result just come up immediately. So uh, so the first thing you can do is to create a T file object or object pointer. So in order to uh, open the file, you need to use uh, a class object called the T file. So the type of T file, then you can see this is a class. So the column uh, turned to uh, blue here. So you can declare a T class object like this, or you can use the T class pointer. It's works similar if you don't familiar with the terminology is fine you just memorize this is kind of a, a conventional syntax to use it so uh, we can type this then we uh, you see if we type f again it should return something here is because it's just declared there is no memory store in it so now we can type f equal to new t file okay so now it comes um, something like uh, to input some uh, options here here actually is the the a class constructor that's mean when you uh, declare or uh, make a new um, pointer or object you can put some option in it so what kind of option we can put? Um, so you can look up or type tap to see what information here. So it give you some information like the first option is a function name and this is must be a char data type. Like a stream, like uh, like a string, this is the char array data type here. This uh, this char start means this array here. Then there is a T option, uh, sorry, option T uh, type, pointer type something. But it has default value, so you don't necessarily to put it in. And another one, another one stream, also is already has default value. So actually we can just type in the first one because there is no uh, default uh, value here. So if you want to use this constructor, you must put in the the um, argument for this parameters here, f name. So this is a code 
uh, f could be function or file or something uh, so in this case we uh, use the, the file name we want to open or to uh, write out uh, so you can have something like test the root if we type in this case that means we already have a test root file here and we want to read in the data uh, you have another option because we see there is a option here right so you have a recreate or update these two options to use here that means uh, you can uh, open it and uh, write append to it use the update option or you can re uh, override it by recreate option here you can either uppercase or lower lowercase it will be fine here let's try it so you tap here so now you get a sound uh, this would in with you uh, type in this command you will return some memory address for this app here all right so right now as you know i read in the test the root okay so now i i open it and read in and by create a t file um, pointer here object pointer that's con reference to the t file something it's just like um, you create a, 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 a kind of memory that can point to another uh, your blueprint that's T file so in order to use it you have to use this uh, operator like an arrow so you can say ls to list or something here or to print something or to close it okay you have to the first okay so this is a very uh, very brief uh, first step to open it and to close it and we will tell more about that later all right um, there is some tips about using the mm, T file here the first uh, you can use the uh, tab to auto complete the input like uh, let me do it again so you type t file and you type f then you, you can say anything else like me I like to use co uh, constructor then next this step I can type tab so you have a lot of option here then I type uh, test then I t again tab just I T and tab here okay and then it will auto finish just typing tab here so in this command I create an object that's a pointer that that's just a create just like a, I got all the instance I got to create all the thing here not just a, a kind of a pseudo something like not real object here okay the different way so previously I used um, this com this pointer here anyway I think you understand if you so if in this case I have to use dot not uh, not arrow here so I type ls reading and I this what I have inside it and I want to close it now it's finished all right and the next thing is the root file here actually you don't need to uh, use the appendix or a file sorry a file extension like that root because the root can recognize the format because the first uh, four bits in the root file it would tell the the root to know this is a root file <laughs> okay I know it's kind of tricky anyway you don't need to net you don't need to have uh, a file intention you can just read it but it's good to keep it 
All right, this is just a small um, tip. Then we will go on to the next example here. Okay, so the first example. This example, uh, you will learn how to save object or uh, data to a root file. So let's start from uh, let's restart the root. Okay, so let's uh, generate a T file. Okay, so T file. Then I type F. Then I say I want a test root file. And the option I can say recreate. That's me. If the test root file exists, I uh, will override it. So type enter. Now you get it. So now then I type ls to see the the t file I just create. I should see nothing inside here. So you just have uh, the t file uh, pointer here. So but there's nothing here. So the next thing we just create some object and store this or save the uh, object into what we just create this the t file okay so so in this example i'm going to create a histogram uh, the histogram object or histogram uh, stuff uh, you have to use th1 or this is a t is means the class h is in histogram one is 1d and f means the the type is floats data type so that uh, you, you can store in you know, the bin is floated so that if you don't quite understand this part it's just fine I just want to demonstrate how to save the file so let's try the first one th1f okay so I have to have the uh, create an object that is from the th1f class and then I have a lot of options so again, you can understand what option you can have. Then you type tab. Okay. So you you got the constructor, uh, some some the header, some you know function headers of the constructor here. So again, you see a lot of uh, there are mm, four constructor here. So which one you wish you use? Uh, normally I will use this one so the first net the first part is the key of the um, this object here typically you can type the same uh, the same string as uh, your, your your object here the key is something uh, it was very useful when you reopen it because right now we know we can use h0 to to uh, reference to this uh, histogram but when you reopen it you don't declare this uh, object yet right when you open the file you just type this guy here but there is already some data in it so, so in that case, you can use H0 instead of this guy here to do the same operation. All right. So I know it's quite uh, um, not clear so far. So I will tell you uh, what happened later by examples. So let's just give it a little bit. So next thing is a title here. Again, this is a uh, the array, uh, a char array, and called the the, the parameter is title. So you need to put a string, uh, like let's say histogram zero. Then the next thing is the integer type. This is the how many bin you want. Let's say we put 100, and from where to where, the x low to x up so low let me say 10 minus 10 
this pan here. Okay, so you tap enter. Now you create. Now you tap arrow up, so you can get again. You just modify something. All right. So let me summarize that. So first, I create a T file. F this object F here, but I use another uh, command, uh, another way to uh, create this file. This is a pointer, and this is the object. Okay, this up the pointer could point to this class, and this is an object here. Okay, then I create another two object here. Now. I want to fill some stuff here. So since I created this object, the from the th1f, so I can access the the member of the method in th1f class. So you if you don't know how method is just like a function inside a class. Again, you can apt tap, so you see a lot of things you can access too. So here we use a fill random. Then you don't know the option, right? You just have to tap tab. Now you see there's a function name here. There's a built-in function name. Now I use the Gaussian function to randomly fill. So tap this. This is a, st uh, a stream, and I want how many count? Uh, let's say just 100. Okay, then tap enter. Now let's see something uh, very quickly. You can see draw. Okay, you got the histogram, and 100 count, and the bin is from sorry the the range is from minus 10 to 10. And there's a 100 bin here. All right. Let's close it. Okay. Then let's do the same thing for the another histogram. All right. So now we already create a histogram and fill it in a Gaussian distribution. Now we let me let let us just double check. The first, we have something here, which have ls. You see the object, this is just create. This object are just in memory. It's not in disk yet, OK? So because we haven't write it to the disk. So how to write it? Now we link to this file here. And when you use the write command, the the stuff or the object will from the memory right into this test that root. So let's do it right now. So type write. Okay, code this method. All right, and do it again. Then let's see what inside this test that root file by ls command and uh, sorry ls method. So you see, you see something different, right? So this is before we write in a file, and this is after we write in a file. You see, the first two just the the object in the memory, and this two is the object. Sorry, it's the this this object or element histogram in the the test root file here. So you have the key H0, and this is the cycling, uh, cycle number. I will tell you what is later. And this is the key for H1. All right. Um, this is a histogram. OK. So well, let's discuss what's the 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 semicolon one. This is called the cycle number. What does that mean? So let's see if we fill the the histogram zero random fill again. 
of your random. Okay. Now G U A S G sorry G A U S scales and distribution choose hundred. Okay. Then we let's see what happened right now. Now you have because previously we just have one hundred cows, then there's two hundred cows of totally is three hundred in the entry. This is a Gaussian distribution and the center from zero here. So it, it updates, right? Okay. So then let's type right again. Okay. So let's see what happened to the root a test that root file. Alright, you see this is the histogram zero H zero in the memory and there's two also histogram zero. But there is a different thing here. This is a, a one, this is two. The the two means the second second time when we write in. Okay. So here would be just one hundred count and this will be three hundred counts because the second time we add 200 counts here. And in the memory is always the biggest uh, cycle number here. Okay, so you you can use a, a T browser to, oh, to just take a look at what happened here. When you open the T browser, it will give you some uh, GUI like this and tell you a root file here. Then we tap in. So here you see H0 and H1, there is no cycling number, so they are the object in memory only, not in the disk. And here is H1, so H01, H02, that means this is just the first one, just 100, and this is the sec second one with 300 count here. And, uh, the memory one always the big always the big cycling number here. All right. So okay. So okay. Now we close it. So tab in F. Uh, close. You should use case. Okay. Good. So we finish this very um, easy. Uh, Example, but let me just try it. Try, try another. Okay. Oh. Okay. So don't worry. But try an, another thing before we uh, go to the next one here. So we we create a T file and open just open the file we just create. Okay. Test the uh, root. We just read in. And F, let's print it. So you see, uh, we have we have in the disk we have these two for the H zero and this one for H one histogram. So we are great in, and we don't have anything in uh, uh, the memory. So we don't have an object here. Object. This is uh, supposed to be something between these two rows. Not because we don't declare these two lines, so we don't have that thing here. So because we already have open it, we can use the key to access what we uh, already open. So that's so then for row. You see, before we declare anything. There is already something here for us to operate. That is the key. The it will be stored in a T key class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, you know. So the same thing is because it's uh you it is a pointer. So you need to use the arrow uh up this arrow that's dot. So let's say draw. It's always the latest one, three hundred one. Okay, so you you know how to do it. All right, I think I will stop here.
All right. In the second example here, I would like to talk about a little bit more advanced option for T file here. Uh, for example, like uh, make directory uh, chain directory delete or list um, object in memory only or to show your current path. Remember the T file uh, object work like a container. So actually, it can contain a directory type or a file like a, a root file. Sorry, <laughs> tree file. Sorry, a tree file uh, or means a tree data type file uh, or histogram data type file. Let's see. Uh, let's go more example for details. Uh, so let's create F1. For the file number one, so I would type uh, test one dot root. I create I don't know, because I want to create. I can use recreate this command. Okay, now uh, then I type two. Then I create two. So I have two root file open here. So if I want to write to the file, which one I will write in two. Okay. the The thing is, when you, uh, the last open one is the active one. So if I declare a histogram and I invoke the write method, it will only write to F two, not F one. So if you want to use F one, you have to use F one dot C D change directory. Okay. Okay. Now you will go to the F1 here. Now the active one is F1. So when you write it, you will go you save in the F1. So let's just uh, test it for very quickly. So I copy this command and paste it. Okay. Now inside right. All right, so F1 dot CD. Sorry, LS. Now you have something here. Let's see what F2 look like. Nothing there, right? So if you want to write in F2, you can type here CD net H0 write net H2 list. Okay, you have something here. Good, that that's fairly good. So next thing we can use is to make a directory. So let's say we now at if you forget where we are, you can use a global uh, pointer. Start from G. That's a built-in pointer. So directory. And because it's a pointer, you have to use arrow and pwd. Okay, so you see we are in a test two dot root. Uh, so that means if we want to go back to the, the test one dot root, we have to use f1 change directory. All right, so let's see. Now we go to here test one dot root. Uh, Let's say we want to make a directory inside a, a f test one dot root file. So we type f one make directory. Then you can see there's a um, the name for it and some title because this is already set default value is none. The string is none here. <laughs> okay, so you can just type okay my directory my dir here uh, okay so you type f1 ls again you see there is the directory here now we go to f1 cd my direct sorry my directory okay now you invoke a uh, global uh, pointer. Let's see PWD. Now you are in a 
test one that root my directory. So let's say h0 right here. Let's see what happened. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, hmm? Okay, you have something here, but it don't show up in the list to come in. I don't know why. Um, all right, so uh, you probably know what happened here. And you can also use delete to do this part. Like, uh, I think is uh, where, where we are right now. Dld. Okay, so that's one F, one C D. Then let's see what happened here. Okay, so F one. Let's test it. I don't use this command often, but um, let's see what it work like. My dir. Hope it work. <laughs> oh. Still there. <laughs> hmm, but there is nothing there. Okay. Maybe just delete uh, anything inside the directory, but not this uh, delete the folder. Okay. That I learned something, <laughs> alright? So I think that's the tutorial part. Actually, there is something here, uh, but it's not so difficult. That's, that's just a, mm, try the example three at the same time. So there is a um, built-in method in the, in the T file class, like uh, get this of key. We know this is a key here. So you can use uh, F1 LS to know the key here. The another method you can use is the get uh, list of keys. Then it return uh, uh, some object pointer. You, so you you have to link to its method print. Okay, it's a little bit tedious. So it tell you the key is H0 inside it, and the title is histogram zero cycles one. Actually, if you use LS, it will give you the same information. Like H0 is the key name, the title is here, and the cycle is one is here. It's the same thing. All right. So I think this is my short tutorial today. I hope it helped you to get some uh, basic understanding or how to start the playing with root. So I think the next tutorial series will be a, a T tree, a little bit difficult to me as well. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>